Howdy, folks. How's the lighting, how's the sound, and how are you? Leslie says, tis the season to go on Twitch streams. Fa la 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 la. <laughs> I guess it is. <laughs> I'm going to be doing a lot of Christmassy streams this month, so if you want your if you want your Christmas feel, if you want to get the Christmas feeling, come to the Twitch streams this month. I don't think I have any non-Christmas streams <laughs> planned. Larry says, hello, looks and sounds good. Fantastic, brilliant. Uh, in terms of what I've done today, tidying my room. And I'm tired from doing it. <laughs> I might live in a pub attic, but it's it's kind of a nightmare to like... It's still a nightmare to clean things, because there's not much space to really work around when trying to like clean things. <laughs> so yeah, I've, I've mainly done that all day. Watching more Scooby-Doo films in between... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, not, it's not been a very eventful day. Soda says, sounds good. Excellent. And what have you all been doing? I'm trying not to go, I'm trying not to go too crazy with, um, I'm trying not to go too crazy with, like, Christmas stuff yet. He says, well, we're not a Christmas sweater and tinsel behind him. But, like, what I mean by that is I don't want to listen to too much Christmas music, watch too many Christmassy things. Because I know if I start, if I start, I'll just get addicted. And then when it's near Christmas, I'll be like, oh, God, no more Christmas. <laughs> Which, I... I shouldn't do, because I love Christmas. Uh, Kess says, just saw Muppets Christmas Carol as a live orchestra, and I am super jealous. That sounds amazing. How was it? I'd love to go to somewhere like that. I think I did see, I saw adverts for it around, but yeah, I didn't have the time or money to go to something like that. Would be sick. Would be sick. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna save a lot of, save a lot of Christmas stuff for, for a bit. I'm probably going to start Maybe in the middle of a month, and for now it's just I'm just popping in and out of Christmassy things. <laughs> uh, Soda, I'm not really in the Christmas spirit upon hearing some sad news. Very sorry about that, Soda. Very sorry. If you don't feel like celebrating Christmas, don't feel like you don't have to celebrate Christmas. Um, but there's still this is all Christmas. This is going to be a very Christmassy stream. I'll just give you a heads up. <laughs> it's going to be very Christmassy. Uh, playing a game. Wait, hang on. Why is chat? Can I have one stream where chatbox behaves? Let's have a chatbox on Nightbot being a complete pain. All right, let's make that bigger. Hopefully that's not too big. We'll see. Uh, so it says, I'm not going to dive into it. You don't have to, you don't have to talk, whatever's bothering you, don't have to talk about it. Actually, the chatbox is a bit, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. I know what to do. Uh, um, no, properties. Properties, they need to go in properties. Height it up to 500. I think that's gonna, oh, oh, no, that's a bit too tall. Um, text is still small, that is weird. That's really weird how small it looks. Uh, I'm gonna shrink, shrink the size down a little bit. 400 there. Um, and font settings a bit bigger. Uh, hopefully that's going to be all right. Do, 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 do. Okay, uh, Leo says, since I got back from the doctors, I want to take my mind off thinking about the results. I've been chatting to a friend, relaxing, and my new favorite hobby, scouring through the background details of Ghostbusters Afterlife. Yes, you have. You've been showing quite a lot of those. It's been very interesting. <laughs> I'm not very. I'm not that great when it comes to spotting spotting background details, unless it's a film that I'm legitimately obsessed with, like a goof movie. Um, but, like, I like noticing things in the background. Especially Gravity, Gravity Falls is really good for that, because, like, Alex was obsessed with foreshadowing and subtext right from the beginning. So every time, I watch, every time you watch Gravity Falls, there's going to be a little something there, even if, if it seems, like, mundane to the scene at hand. I wish I could do something like that on one of my projects. Um, so Kirst says this about the Muppets Christmas Carol of Live Orchestra. It was amazing and it was fun seeing everyone laughing along with jokes. And I'm so glad they put When the Love Has Gone Back In. Yeah, it's not Muppets Christmas Carol without that song. Kirst, did you see the Guardians of the Galaxy free trail? I'm so glad they put the, uh, the Lila storyline. Uh, I have seen the trailer. 
I have seen the trailer. It looks pretty fun. It looks pretty fun. It looks very emotional. I'm I'm down for it. I mean, like, I'd say that Guardians is maybe my favorite MCQ franchise, but I'm not hundred percent sure because I also really like the Ant Man franchise. But it's kind of it's kind of like a mix of those, and I still want to watch the Guardians Christmas special. It looks so wholesome. I can't wait. Um, so I heard that the voice of Goofy was at Comic Con in Wales recently. Bill Farmer was in Wales, and I didn't even. <laughs> To be fair, I, I, I wouldn't have the time or the money to get to Wales <laughs> right now, so I'm not gonna not gonna beat myself up too much about it. <laughs> and to be fair, I've, I've already met him, so. <laughs> um, Liam, yeah, it helps to rewatch the film on my Mac. Easier to spot them. I actually watched Gravity Falls on my Mac first, and, and went to me spot spot uh, hidden gags and some details on a first viewing. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I want to. I want to implement that kind of style of storytelling into my own work. Just putting in little details in the background that, like, seem, seem really seem really like eh, it doesn't really matter when you first see the film, but then when you rewatch the film, like, ooh, that's what that meant. That's what that was foreshadowing. Mm, interesting. Um, so yes, yeah, so I heard. I wish I knew about that before MCM. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm, I don't think I'm, I'm going to be doing many, many cons, if I'm honest, next year. I'll be so I'll be so dang busy. I've got so many big videos planned for next year, and so many short films to work on. That I just I don't. I probably only go to like maybe one or two cons next year. Be right. Be right. Um, but I before we begin the game, I want to ask all of you. Something related to this game, seeing, seeing as it's it's a it's a Christmas game about Santa delivering presents. What was your favorite toy you ever got for Christmas? Like the best thing you ever got for Christmas? It was just like perfect, perfect. Can't believe it. Um, it's kind of a split for me, uh, and trying to remember as well, <laughs> trying to remember all those Christmases. Um, I remember being really, really excited when my parents got me uh, WWE, WWE uh, Smackdown 2 on PS1. Uh, back when I was completely obsessed with wrestling. I was a massive wrestling nerd as a kid. And I remember being so happy that my parents got me Smackdown 2 that I I, I did like a, a wrestling jump on my parents. <laughs> I was like so happy. And like I think they were happy for me as well. Um, and that did end up becoming one of my favorite childhood games as well. So damn fun. Um, and the other, the other one I okay, I'm starting to remember some other presents I really loved as well. Um, obviously, anytime I got a camcorder, anytime I got a camcorder, I was so happy to get like a new camcorder, especially when I got my first ever digital camcorder. Because old old James grew up with a camcorder that was like you know cassette tape camcorders. They have to like rewind, fast forward to like record over and all that kind of stuff and keep track of all the different cassettes. I had one of those, it was very, very old. Um, but then one day for Christmas, I finally got a digital camcorder. I was like, oh. Um, and I also remember getting Waking Sleeping Beauty, which is, uh, it's a documentary about the, the Disney Renaissance. Um, it was, I, I didn't know how to get hold of it because uh, it wasn't released in the UK and my parents managed to get hold of it. That was one of the best Christmas presents as well. Uh, Curse says, oh god, I just realized my panto is literally next week. I'm so nervous. Good luck, Curse. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Don't overthink it. Especially with a panto. I feel like as someone that as someone that has watched a lot of panto performances, um, I will say that like it's fun when an actor flub flubs. I feel like it's easier to forgive an actor who like um who flubs or make, uh, screws up or says a line wrong and just adapts to it. It works for Panto, so don't stress, don't stress. The main thing is you have fun uh, while also entertaining the audience. Um, da, da, da. So this is, I think it's a split between this Tommy um, Thomas Tank Engine train set and the Tracy Island playset. Nice, nice, nice. Those are good, those are good presents. I think one of my favorite um, Christmas traditions in my house uh, that I always loved as a kid was what what my parents would do would they'd um, let us open all these different kinds of personal presents at the end while we, after we opened everything um, my mum would be like oh dad's going upstairs to get the big present and the big present 
was like a really big present that was supposed to be shared by me and my brother. He taught us to share things together um, while also just like building into the whole whole atmosphere. It was really nice. And like my dad would take his time to come down the stairs and bring down a really huge wrapped present. We'd open up and be something we both share. I remember getting so many great presents that way. Um, da -da -da. Leo, I suppose 2008 I got the PS3 and Batman Arkham Asylum. It was such a big deal at the time to see the BTAS cast return for the first time in years. Plus that was just a good Christmas overall. My grandma was alive. The food was never... Ne has never been better than that year. I made a chocolate orange cheese cake for dessert. I remember watching an opera on the telly in the kitchen while I made made it on Christmas Eve. Nice, nice. Sounds good, sounds good. Um, i trying to remember other Chris presents I got. Dang, how, why have I forgot? I've forgotten nearly everything I got for Christmas. Huh, I don't know. Uh, Leo, yeah, just watch Bottom Live. Those flubs are the funniest damn things ever. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Honestly, um, I think I think flubs are only kind of like an issue if you're doing a very serious play. I really do feel like it's... That's when it gets a bit like, eh, we expect better. We're here for a serious story. We're here to, we're here to get engrossed in the illusion of the theatre. But with Panto, you can break that fourth wall. You can have fun with breaking that fourth wall as long as the director doesn't mind you doing that. <laughs> And that director should be okay with that, because Panto is all about breaking the fourth wall. I mean, you have the Panto dame throwing out the candy and stuff like that. And I, I like it when Panto is, like, throwing, like, throwing a joke that only the audience of that city will find funny. I've, I've always loved that. I remember seeing, um, what was it now? I went to see, I went to see the Mikado, the, uh, the comedy opera, and, like, they did, when they did the list song, they were listing out some really, like, funny British jokes that like like t taking jabs at Bradford and stuff like that it was great <laughs> um, so the, oh, oh, then there's the, the remote control Dalek it got when I got really into Doctor Who nice nice damn I'm trying really hard to remember some presents I got I mean it was mainly as I got older it mainly became pajamas and socks <laughs> but as you get older you're kind of like oh yes pajamas oh yes socks <laughs> <laughs> you actually start to appreciate those things when you get older. <laughs> but my my parents always were always pretty damn good at like creating a Christmassy atmosphere for me and my brother. Um, because on yeah, Christmas Eve was brilliant in 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 my house. I loved it. Uh, because Christmas Eve was about like the neighbors and our friends just coming over to visit for the night, and like we'd have a nice little party with all all our loved ones. And it was just really exciting because I was excited for Christmas, but also excited to see all, all my friends and my neighbours, and really, really, really liked that. Um, and it was also the night we would um, set up the nativity set. That was fun. Um, but my favourite Christmas Eve tradition would be um, we had to lay down newspaper on the ground all the way up to our fireplace, um, and we would also leave up the cookies and milk, or was it sherry? Yeah, we, we do something different. We have sher we give Santa sherry. I forgot. Yeah, we we leave Santa some sherry and uh, mince pies. That's I remember now. Yes, we leave Santa sherry and mince pies, and then we'd leave carrots outside for the reindeers, and then the next day, uh, my parents had like marked got like fo uh, like shoes and marked footprints up to the fireplace on the newspaper to give the illusion that Santa had been there. It was fun. Um... So, I miss that style of Christmas. Cursed. When I got older, the best stuff I got was video games, books, and fashion. I realized we'd start opening our presents in the nearby flat, and then later on, open even more presents at my granny's house. Oh, that sounds lovely. And you know what I found really annoying, though, is um, in the morning, my parents really loved delaying the opening presents part. And they would, like, they would also kind of, like, act up how, like, oh, it's just a normal day kind of thing. And, like... Me and my brother wanted to play it cool, though. We didn't want to, like, seem too, like, too eager. But we were also, at the same time, like, stop it. We know what this morning's about. <laughs> and my dad would be, like, cooking breakfast. Like, <laughs> I don't think we were allowed in the living room as well until we'd had breakfast. Uh, Leo, I love how we always gave him a glass of sherry. Yet, uh, never occurred to us that just how Fleming drunk Santa would be after leaving the UK. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's true. Why did we give him sherry? <laughs> I remember as a kid seeing like American versions and be like, we give him cookies and milk. Do you? <laughs> yeah, show it shows normal normal to give to Santi. <laughs> Uh, cursed. I would always feel around with my leg if there were presents in the stockings in the morning. Yes, I love that feeling. That was great. That's when you knew that Christmas had arrived, I think. Because, like, if, if you wake woke up in the middle of the night and you felt your stocking and it was, like, empty, it was like, no, 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 I've, I've, got, to, I've got to try harder to get to sleep. It's the hardest night to try and get to sleep as a kid, but you got to try harder. Um, but when you, you felt it and there was stuff in there, it was like, yes. I can get up now. <laughs> uh, let me try and think of the stuff that I would usually get in stockings. Toblerones, Terry Stocker Orange, um, a new toothbrush, um, golden coins. Damn, what else would there be? Um, maybe a Pez. There might be a Pez sometimes. Um, I actually can't remember anything else. Mainly stuff like that. Um, da 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 da. Leo, if every country has their own Santa, then UK Santa is just a Christmas party piss head. Australia's veranda Santa loves every second of it. <laughs> yes. Actually, I kind of love the idea of a Santa for each country, and it would explain the lore a lot better as well. Like, there's, there's a distinct Santa for every country, and, like, they take care of their country. Rather than Santa being one person going around the world, while there's a lot of whimsy to that, I feel like it's kind of fun, the idea that there's, like, a national Santa. That's sick. I like that. I might might turn that into something. <laughs> that's kind of fun. And there's, like, a council of Santas around the world that, like, have meetings. Oh, I love this idea. I want to make this into something now. <laughs> that's cool. Um, duh, 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 duh. Soda. Santa... Santa is tough, he can take sherry. Uh, Leo, I was surprised to learn about the stocking tradition because I never had that. Oh, interesting. I had a stocking that had my name on it. My mum had, my mom had actually sewn it together with tinsel at the top. And it was had our, na had our names on them. Um, blah, 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 blah. Cursed. I know my second youngest nephew is into bugs, so hopefully Santa can get him a bug plushie. Aw, nice. Leo, same. I've entertained the idea before. We'll make something great for kids. Me thinks we'll ha uh, we'll be having talks later. Yeah, we, we should we should talk about this. That'd be kind of cool. It sounds like a Rise of the Guardians kind of concept, but like sa everyone's a Santa Claus. <laughs> the High Santa Council. Yeah, Leah, we need to talk about this. Maybe we can turn this into a comic or something. I'll be down for that. I feel like it'd be easier to make it as a comic because like I don't think I could hire like. 40 different old men to play Santa from different countries for a film. Be easier to do it as a comic. <laughs> right, we'll be playing uh, we'll play the game very soon, by the way, folks, if, you, if you're wondering. Very soon. Like, maybe the next five minutes. I've never, ever played this game before. Um, all I know is that you play Santa and you drop, you drop presents. That's it. <laughs> that's, just, that's the limit of my knowledge of this game. Um, and I do know that, like... The game doesn't last long, but you can keep playing it because every time you play it, the game automatically generates a different map completely randomly. So it's more of an arcade game than anything in that sense. So yeah. Um, but, but, Soda, but then you've got a problem. How does he get to in, uh, wait, how does he get in the house if there's no chimney? Ah. <laughs> I don't know how, it, how it's ever worked. Um, Leo, I always knew stockings were an iconic symbol of Christmas. You see them in cartoons, but damn, I wish I got I got to experience that now. Feeling with your foot and having treats at the bottom of your bed. I never got to... I, I don't think we ever really... Mm, I'm trying to remember if, if I ever had the stockings on my bed. Maybe... Maybe, I don't know, because we had, we had like, really weird... The first bed I had was, like, a bunk bed with my brother, and then the second bed I had was, like, a metal bed. It didn't seem like stuff you could put stockings on. I mainly remember having my stockings on the back of my door. That's the main memory I have when it comes to stockings. And then I remember Christmas dinner would be... What, what would have to Christmas dinner? Because, like... The dining room was technically my dad's office. 
and it was a glass and blind salesman. There was just like loads and loads of things everywhere. There was like blind samples. There was all sorts of stuff. But we didn't really have a, a dining room, if we're honest. We mainly used the kitchen counter as the table. Um, but like at Christmas, it, it was like just take all of Dad's stuff out of the dining room and turn it into a family dining room. And then after we had the oh yeah, so it was the, 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 the crackers and amazing meal, yeah. But then like after after that. We would um, watch TV for the rest of the day, and what I would do is I would actually circle the things on the TV guide that I think the family would like. That was kind of my job. I was already obsessed with the TV guide because it had lots of film reviews in it, so my job was just like find stuff that the family will like, and <laughs> we'll follow that schedule. <laughs> um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Leo says, that's why in Australia, it's veranda Santa. He comes in through the veranda. He also wears short sandals, has white kangaroo rather than a reindeer. Literally only knew this because of Bluey. So that's kind of interesting because like, I spent one of my Christmases in Australia. And I don't remember that version of Santa, but to be fair, I was only four. <laughs> Maybe my grandparents did tell me that story. <laughs> but I was just like, yeah, really? <laughs> Presents. <laughs> What's this about a white kangaroo? <laughs> that was a cool Christmas, though. That was a really cool Christmas. It was just weird having a Christmas that was hot. It was a very hot Christmas. And we spent the Christmas on the beach. Like, in Australia, you celebrate Christmas on the beach. And we, I, remember, I remember being on the beach. I remember my granddad was windsurfing surf, uh, surfing on the, on the ocean that day as well. I don't remember much else, though. <laughs> Um, ba 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 Cursed. Oh my god, I watched that Bluey episode with my nephew. What are the odds? Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, I, I'm really trying to... I can't remember what, much else about my Australian Christmas. Hmm. Hmm. Nope, can't remember. <laughs> can't remember. Um, I think it's time that we play the game. Let's let's get the game going. So I will be right back while I set things up. Thank you. 
let's get the game up. Right, is it on this one? Let me check. B -b 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 Silent Night. There we go. Why is it doing it like that? I have no idea. <laughs> that is weird. Let's try. Let's try a different way. Let's do the game capture. Should be. This should work. Hopefully. Yep. There we go. Game capture was a better approach. Be a re. Can we make that a little smaller? Cool. 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 That's. A little lower. Yeah, that'd be cool. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, so Leo's gone to grab their copper. Um, soda. Damn, all this talk has just reminds me of the times I used to watch Christmas specials around that time of the year on Disney and Cartoon Network and Boomerang. I think I remember sp watching special. The main special I remember watching was um, All Dogs Go to Heaven Christmas Carol. I think that's the only special I really remember watching. And the Simpsons Christmas specials, I always watch those. It's really hard to say, because, like, most in Britain, a Christmas special is usually, like, a BBC adaptation of a book that's animated, like, um, Father Christmas, The Snowman, um, Room and a Broom, That Stick One. <laughs> I don't really remember any of, any of the others. <laughs> but, yeah, we, we usually have that to look forward to. Right. Okay. So I don't know any of the. Leo says always got to see a new animated special Christmas. I I don't anymore because like I don't have TV. But it was kind of fun when I was growing up watching it. Um, so I don't know any of the controls for this game, by the way. I don't know any of the controls. So I'm just going to be winging it and working it. Right. Okay. The arrow is working. What does space do? Oh, it crashed. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it gave like okay it is very much an arcade game then <laughs> uh, move move oh that makes me go higher what's X do space does nothing V B M Q R. I think it's mainly about navigating I think that's it. Okay. Whoa, this is not, I'm not the best driver, if I'm honest. Okay. Come on. Come on. Ah, that didn't do anything. I tried to find control guides online, but there was nothing there. Um. Enter. Nope. Huh. Maybe I've got to go actually into the house. If anyone can find out what the button is to deliver presents, let me know. But I, I've I've not managed to find anything online. Oh, it's so tricky. <laughs> no doubt, doubt, doubt. Down. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I've just got to get close. I've just got to get close. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. I kind of wish I did the controller for this. Because it's really hard to navigate with... Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but okay. Yeah, it's not. It's hard to navigate with arrows. Just crash of elegance. <laughs> I'm gonna try with. Maybe it'll let me do it with mouse. No, mouse doesn't work. Okay, I'm stuck with arrows then. I'll get used to it hopefully, but it is it is very hard to navigate. What was that? Oh, okay, right. So I feel like that takes away points, so let's not do that. Because there's only one house for that one. Wow, there's like four houses for this one. I'm going to try and rechat, but it's going to be hard. Okay, there's some trees coming up, so I'm, I'm going to try and get a bit higher. But it won't deliver unless I'm lower. There we go. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right, there we go. See, the light disappears once I put... Damn it. <laughs> Hi there, uh, Cameron. 
Soda, what makes it to distinctly remember seeing what, uh, what uh, Beauty and the Beast Christmas film with Jim Carrey is the Nightmare Piano? What? What? <laughs> do, you, do you mean Tim Curry? That sounds like Enchanted Christmas. Uh, like, I, I can't I can't read while while playing because like the game is automatically forcing me to move. <laughs> oh, it's so hard to move. <laughs> I tell you why it's hard to move because the slightest um, the slightest error movement basically means oh do you want me to move like that much? Oh, that's not working. No, down, 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 down. This is tricky. I think if I ever play this game again, I'm gonna... I'm gonna play it with controller. Oh god, no, 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 no. <laughs> right, I need to find out where the other one is. Okay, there's one over here. Epic moonshot. I didn't even do anything. <laughs> oh, what do you mean look at the moon? Okay. No, no, that's down, down, down. Whoa! <laughs> you know what the the controls are like? It's like Snake. You know, like Snake, the mobile game. It's got that those kind of controls. And I know that sounds weird, but it's true. Let's down, down. I can't even see what where the light is now. There we go. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And I saw another light as well. Uh, curse, why don't you tap the keys instead? What What do you mean, sorry? Oh, you mean like slight taps? Because that doesn't work. It's about control rather than taps. Where am I going? Where? <laughs> it's, it's frustrating because like, when I go up, it goes really up and I'm like, wait, where am I? And you need to, you need to be, you need to be down. You need to be quite down to deliver the presents. Oh, completed. Good, 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 good. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Avoid the tree, avoid the tree. You get a nice epic moonshot as well. Nice. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> I love it. Completed, but crash with elegance. <laughs> right, okay. Alright, this way. There we go. What? You cr you can crash into the houses. All oh, right, I'll start start over, shall I? No, don't do that. I really don't like the snake mechanics of this game. I really don't. Okay, that was smooth, that was smooth. Right, a little height here. Don't hit the house, don't hit the houses. Oh yes, yes, that was a nice feel. I love the look of the smoke. Okay, there, cool, cool, cool. Now if I get a bit lo lower, that's not low, that's high. <laughs> oh, dang. Wow, there's a lot here. Oh, flip it! <laughs> I can't tell when something's a rock. <laughs> I can't tell. I'm so busy focused on trying to, like, deliver the presence, I don't think, okay, what, where's the obstacles? No, down, down is... Dang it. Careful, careful, careful. A little higher, a little higher. There's a bit, bit hilly here, so that's, oh, that's too high. And now the game's crushed. Oh, no, no. Okay, there's, this is gonna be easy. Look, there's like, don't hit the tree. That should be common sense. Goddamn rocks. <laughs> Okay, okay, no rock! It's the first thing I do. First thing I do is hit a rock. I'm not. 
I, I appreciate the wholesome gesture that I'm crashing with elegance, but I'm really not. I'm crashing because I'm not paying attention. Oh, for crying out loud. This is snake. It's like... it's lit I literally am a snake <laughs> that happens to be designed like Santorini's reindeers. Right, okay. This one should be easy. No. No, no. That was a rock. There's literally a rock attached to the house. How is that fair? <laughs> right, oh, oh. Uh, Kurt says, this is slowly turning into an angry PewDiePie c compilation. No, I'm not, I'm not that angry from this. I'm angry at myself, because... <laughs> this should be simple. But I keep crashing into goddamn rocks. Oh, oh, god, so many rocks, so many trees! Oh, it's completely good. What the hell's chatbox doing? Hang on, hang on. Chatbox is like all over the place right now. Let's fix this. I have no idea why chatbox is that size. Maybe 250. This, that should be better. Whoa. Okay, that'll do. Continue. Um. Le oh, now I can't read it so hard. This is like the worst game to stream because as soon as I have to like pause so I can read because I literally can I can't I can't read and play. Uh, Leo says, "Ever heard of Randy the Brown Brown Nose Reindeer? He flies as fast as Rudolph in front of him, just couldn't stop as quickly." <laughs> Jeez. Um, Soda. Well, at least this time you're not being attacked by bears or traps with creepy fish people. It's just the snake mechanics that's that's annoying me. That's it. I'm fine with everything else. I love the atmosphere. I love. The feeling of delivering the presents. Front of my I saw a lot. For crying out loud, stop getting in my way, trees. <laughs> Why can't this be a simple kind of like drop the presents, move on? That's that's what's relaxing, game. <laughs> I don't like how the the tree the the rocks and trees look in the dark as well. No, I'm not surprised by your shit anymore, Leo. I'm <laughs> used to it. What is... What is... Why... Where is it? Why is it on, like, this... There? What... Who lives there? Who lives like that? <laughs> I don't care if I didn't deliver presents to them. It's their fault for living in such a strange manner. Oh, no, no. Avoid the tree. What? Why are you living up there? Maybe this is why games shouldn't generate maps on the road. <laughs> right, finally delivered something. I feel like I've been on a streak of, like, failing to deliver loads lately. Right, okay, 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 okay. No, no, that's down. <laughs> down. There we go. Up, 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 and then down. Okay, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Um, so to make sure you do not drop presents over the nearest military hangar base, I can't make any promises. What is the red light for? Look down. I'm trying to get used to the fact that up, it, up is down, and down is up. I think. No, it's not. It's not that. I'm just being dumb. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Wait, have I done that one already? Crash of elegance. I'd actually find this easier if, if I got off the sleigh and did it. <laughs> I swear. Oh, this is relax club. Let's relax. Ooh, I like that little um. When you hit the water, that was nice. No, almost fell. Stop hitting trees. I can't see anything. I feel like I've had sherry already. 
or down. There we go, there we go, there we go. Nice, nice, nice. No. How <laughs> was I foiled by snow? Right. Oh, oh, don't want to hit any trees. Ow! <laughs> he says, as hitting trees. I find it really uncomfortable the way that Santa rides his sleigh like he's, he's walking to a nightclub. He's like... Okay, down. And that's up. Down. Down, turn around. Okay, fine. Don't, don't do what I tell you to do. Okay, that's that's great. That's great. What about the other house here? There's another house here. Let's try and get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Yes. Don't hit the tree. Don't hit the tree. Don't hit the tree. Right, this should be all right. Oh, that's down. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. We've managed to deliver things already. Stop trying to the tree. <laughs> Dang it. What's been my highest score? I feel like I was doing really well at the beginning and now I'm doing terrible. Like, look at that. High score next to last score. Where's my... Where's my look gone? I think it's because the, the more I've played, the more Santa drinks he's sharing. Up, up, up! I'm trying to... <laughs> Don't hit the tree! Oh, okay, fine. Just hit the tree then. Right. Da, 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 da. There we go. Okay, now, go down a bit. Get these two places. Stop hitting trees. Santa, stop hitting trees for crying out loud. Down! When I say down, go down, not up. Right. How many glasses sherry has, has Santa had? Well, if I'm behind the wheel, then it's a lot, <laughs> it seems. Yes. Okay, yeah, yeah, we're, we're finally in the, like, the digits of, the, of my last high score, so let's, keep, let's keep, keep, it on, keep it on a roll. Keep it on a roll. Don't fall into any... I've not hit any rocks yet, so that's good. Oh, cool. <laughs> uh, Leo, this is even funny when you imagine Jabriki is a disgruntled stickler of an elf trying to train a new employee. It feels like it. An employee that moves like a snake. Oh, I like this. <laughs> Stars Aquatic Run, and now that is a name. I like that. Stop hitting trees, stop hitting trees. I feel more like an elf that's stuck, that's stuck babysitting a drunk Santa. Seriously, chat box, what are you doing? I need to fix this. Where's chat box? I know what to do. Down to that size. That should be better. Okay, back to the game. I don't want to. I don't. Oh, I don't want to fall into the the the, uh, the rocks. I want to avoid the rocks at all costs. Oh. Shoot! That was scary. Buddy the Elf. I feel like I am, but Buddy the Elf is probably like helping pilot this. Oh no! <laughs> Dang it, look how. Okay, I got a better score this time at least. This game is basically like, it's like playing a plane simulator, but your plane flies like Nokia's snake. I'm not kidding. That's that's basically how to explain this game. Okay, doing alright, doing alright. Yes, that's smooth. Oh, crying out loud. Don't jinx us then. No, don't, 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 don't. 
I feel like rocks are my biggest enemy. It's not the Grinch. It's it's not the Burger Maestro. It's, it's nothing like that. It's not Oogie Boogie. It's it's rocks and trees. Okay, that's a nice combo. Ah, avoid the, avoid the giant rock. Let's go down. Go down. Yes! Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> I feel like... For crying out loud. Come on. <laughs> right, there's a big rock there. Avoid the rock. Oh, but the tree's in the way. Okay, doing alright, doing alright, doing alright. Should be okay for now. No, up, up. I was meant to, I meant to press up, not down. <laughs> Uh, soda, or is it, or it's Krampus trying to create diversions for Santa? Krampus, Krampus isn't even evil enough to like punish me. Like <laughs> this game punishes me. <laughs> even Krampus would be like, "Damn, stop putting rocks there." I've got to remember what what up and down are. I feel like I'm five again, trying to remember directions. So, up is up, down is down. Okay, cool. I remember that. Up, up. Turn, little turn. Oh, up, 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 up. Don't crash into anything. There we go. And this one down here is... Down, down. Down is down. Right, I'm doing okay, I'm doing okay. Don't jinx my son. Oh, Christ. Ooh, where, where am I going? Why am I going in circles? I'm trying to follow the line, but the line is sending me in circles. Maybe this way? Where are all the houses with lights? Avoid the rock. I can't find any houses. Ow. No! <laughs> uh, Leo, fun fact, it's actually pronounced Krumpus due to it being Germanic. So you can imagine how fun it is seeing people trying to avoid saying a man old Kant's name properly. Krumpus just makes him sound like he's a talking crump crumpet. And now I want crumpets. Dang it. I'm not a crumpet for years. I remember just finding the texture weird of crumpets. So that's why I stopped eating them. But uh, maybe I'm feeling nostalgic for them now. Wow, wow, wee, wow, wee. Okay, I'm getting a bit better with the directions, but it's hard. Okay, I'm into the. I'm into a nice number of digits. Uh, Leo, don't forget to leave a crumpet out for Krampus this year. I'm Krampus and I like crumpets. Yeah. No. No. Okay, I think there's another house down here. Down. I said down. <laughs> oh, there we go. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, I'm doing alright so far. I don't know Jinx my son, though. There we go, there we go. Stop it, trees. I said we cut down all the trees so this game's easier. You won't believe them that I'm the son of an environmentalist teacher when I say things like that. Cut the trees down and make things easier. <laughs> right, this 
is. Okay. Oh no! 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 I wasn't paying attention. I got distracted by chat. I really wish I could like. This is a game where you, where you you didn't have to pay constant attention. <laughs> I feel like I should re re chat every time I've completed a level or died. Stop it. Oh, that was close. No! I'm becoming wonky now, th now that I screwed up at that part. part I'm becoming wonky. Uh, Lewis says, in comes Jam's mum to give him a, a clip around the ear. <laughs> Oi! I was literally pressing up! <laughs> you forced me to do that game. <laughs> okay, where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Find the next light. Find the next light. No, down. Down is down. There we go. That was nice. That was nice. Oh, oh, oh. Big rocks. Me avoid. Still not a great score yet. I want to get back into my, my big numbers, but like that's that's something. Oh, oh, crumbs! I don't want. Oh, okay. I'm cool for epic moon shrines. If it gives me points, then that's cool. It's not purely a cosmetic. Down. <laughs> it's not a purely cosmetic um thing. Down. Get the other one, get the other one, get the other one, where is it? There we go. Yes, I mean, I'm, I'm getting bigger digits now. Oh, oh, it's a door. Oh, no, 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 Why are the rocks everywhere? <laughs> there we go. How did that even happen? How did that even happen? I thought I was flying over it, not into it. Earlier. Oh, now I've just remembered they all start selling Christmas tree sh um, shaped crumpets now. I've never even seen those kind of crumpets before. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho. Down, down. That's down. Go down. Oh, for crumpets. <laughs> down, go down, go down. Right, where's, where's another light? Okay, we've got a light over here. It's a beautiful shot. They're an Asta thing. Oh, I don't go to Asta. I go to Sainsbury's, Tesco, um, or Co-op. I'd say I prefer Co-op the most. For some reason, I don't know why. A big moon shot. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Down, down, go down. Down more, down, down some more. Okay, I'm doing alright, I'm doing alright. Just don't throw any rocks in my face. Right, yes, 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 yes. Avoid all rocks, and I should be okay. No, no! I almost slammed into a hill. I feel like you have, to avoid, you have to avoid everything in this game. Oh, jeez! Oh, that was a weird skim. That was like a, I just about skimmed over, um... Just about skimmed over that. Down, down. 
There we go. I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. I still need to get to like this, beat my high score, but I'm doing okay. I'm surviving at least. Oh, okay. That was a weird completion, but okay. Uh, down. Wow, why is this house like really low? Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Ooh! Just about got that. Okay, ooh, ooh, okay, so we've got a few houses down here. Do not fall into rock. Do not fall into rock. <laughs> okay, maybe go down. To be honest, I've, not, I've never really been good at driving games in general. There we go. Uh, let me just catch up with chat quickly. Uh, so, I've just realised I've got to get some Christmas presents for my sister and her partner, my mum and her partner and the staff at the bank. Chocolates all round. Go for it. Or make, make, make presents. I think I'm going to make presents this year. I'm saving a lot of my money for film budgets, so... <laughs> Either film budgets or camping gear. I want to get back into camp... Oh! Camping! Oh, oh, that was scary. That was scary. Oh, no, no, no! I didn't even beat my high score. That's all I wanted to do for that round, which is beat my high score. And that took forever to get to. <laughs> See, I need to st I need to stop paying attention to chat. I'm sorry, chat, but this, this it feels like this game is just not not for streaming. <laughs> okay. Right. So let's get the basics. How did I do that? I literally dropped my presence and then I died. <laughs> This is drunk simulator. This is drunk Santa simulator. I feel like it is. I highly doubt that Santa drives like this. I feel like this. If if Santa drove like this, then the the reindeers would um, literally just barf. <laughs> it's like Santa, why are you driving like Nokia Snake? Oh, <laughs> because I'm playing Nokia Snake. <laughs> Ooh, smooth, smooth, smooth. Whoop. Okay, try this one down here. No, 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 that was bad. <laughs> that was wonky, that was very wonky. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh. Okay, at least I didn't die. <laughs> I would have been quite annoyed if I died from that. <laughs> nice. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Okay, this might work. Smooth, smooth. I'm in, de I'm in decent digits as well now. Okay, no, down, down, down. Okay, that's nice, 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 smooth, smooth, smooth. Do not crash. We're in decent numbers now. Can't can't mess this up. Yes. Right. Okay. Decent numbers. Decent numbers. Let's keep it going. Down. Let's let's do a nice little aquatic thing. That gives me points. Keep, yes. That was like three points almost. That was too easy. Wow, these are a lot of houses. This is gonna get me a lot of points. Just don't crash into any of the houses. Okay. 
Take it down, down, down. Ooh. Right, I, I think I've almost hit my high score. That's all I want. Yeah, I've definitely... Oh, I've totally hit my high score. I don't know why, because this felt, this felt easier compared to previous goes. Down, 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 down. Stop going up, go down. Ooh. Right down. Oh, 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 I feel like this is gonna be my crash. This. <gasps> Ooh, that was close. That was close. Oh, dang it. Well, at least I beat my high score. That was my main concern. I was like, I want to convince myself that I could beat my high score. <laughs> Epic moonshot. Yep, yep, yep. A little higher, a little higher, a little higher, a little higher. There we go. No! Oh. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Nice little stylistic aquatic run, what they call it. Oh, I really like that name. It gives, it gives Santa a bit of campy flair. I am doing a stylistic aquatic run. Okay, Santa, okay. <laughs> Says one of his elves. <laughs> Whatever makes this job more fun for you. This is the super mega spin. Right, Santa, we got to focus on delivering presents. <laughs> Right, down, down. <laughs> That's not even down at all. Right, move, 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 move. Move. God, it's so hard to navigate on this thing. <laughs> I hate it when it goes completed, but crash of elegance. <laughs> um, still imagining you as the disgruntled elf who is sick of his boss. I feel like it. <laughs> Down, down. Oh, crumbs. Crumbs! That was scary! <laughs> down. Oh, ah. Nice, nice. Try and beat my high score again. Got a nice, nicer bunch of, uh, nice bunch of uh, houses down here. So this might give me a bunch of points. Right over that one. Maybe a bit lower for this next one. Yes. Ooh, just about dodging the trees. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Avoid the rock. Nice epic moonshot already. Good, 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 good. Nice. That was a four combo. That was sick. Right, lower, lower. Let's get lower for this one. Lower, lower, lower. Nice. Oh, for crying out Pete's sake. <laughs> I just restarted that. <laughs> I just restarted it. Okay. Okay. Ooh, five combo, and smacking into a tree. All right, okay, cool, 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 cool. We're doing smooth. We're doing smooth. Oh, why? I feel like this game knows when I'm happy. <laughs> He's doing well for a rocket in his face. 
Well, let's get an aquatic run. No, aquatic run. Hang on. There we go. Up, up, up. Got a bunch of houses up here. This this could work. Up, up. <laughs> and now down. Down. Okay, okay. Okay. I could do this. I could do this, okay? I want to at least get the get the fight get to the fag thousand as part of uh, high school. Right, okay. Ooh, this is smooth. This is smooth. Whenever I say I'm doing smooth, I crash. See what I mean? <laughs> Have I got to trick the game and say, "Oh, I'm doing so badly. I hope I don't do more badly." <laughs> okay, cool, cool, cool. Avoid the massive. Freaking rock there. <laughs> down, down, down. 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 Where did it go? There we go. And up, up, up. Avoid. Okay, this might work. This might work. Yes. Oh! Ooh. <laughs> We go. Oh, that was a little bit of a skim there, but I did it. What was on there? Okay, there's, there's a bunch over here. Well, okay, it's just two, but still. <laughs> Two's good. Two's good. Okay. Right. Okay, now where's, where's some more houses? Give me some houses. Give me some houses. Did any of you have to do the nativity story at your school or church? If so, which character did you play? Always like learning that. Um, I, at my school play, I was the narrator. Like, I had to sit in a chair and dress formally and narrate the nativity story. Uh, but when I did it with my church, um, I, I was one of the wise men. I think I preferred being the, the narrator though. It felt it felt special. Plus I didn't have to I didn't really have to get up. <laughs> Ooh, down, 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 down. There we go. Go! Crap <laughs> out. Uh, so, so this is they were a tree. I don't think I've ever been in a school play where someone was actually a tree. I've only thought that was just a joke. <laughs> I didn't know like kids actually were made to play trees. I would have been in. I I don't know how I would have felt playing a tree. I think I was just happy being anything. To be fair, it was always like man two or something. My my big my biggest acting roles at school were like there was one for the 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 the, the Shakespeare festival where I played two or three different characters and Bugs him alone, but I was never like a main character in Christmas. Oh jeez jeez, do you know what I just remembered? Oh man, so I I remember when my school did. Um, Christmas Carol the Musical, but like it was like kind of cringe because <laughs> the three wise men were rappers. <laughs> I remember this now. Oh jeez, and it was all it was all my bullies playing the rappers. That was awful. I was like, yeah, I was like man to it while um while Bell was breaking up with Scrooge. 
I have to oh, so I can get attention. My perfect was Scrooge. I can't believe that rap now. I, I, I wonder how bad it is listening back to it. I don't know what it sounds like. Kind of want to see if I can find it online. Leo, to be fair, all school players are plays a cringe. I've seen some decent ones, to be honest. I remember seeing Little Shop of Horrors, and I was like, dang. It's, it's pretty damn good for, for a play put together by kids. This is pretty damn good. And, like, they got a kid that's... He was about 15, but he sounded like... Sounded like he was 20, and... Had the voice of Kevin Michael Richardson, and he was cast as the voice of Audrey. I was like, dang, is that kid's doing that kind of deep voice? That's pretty sick. But, yeah, it was really cool. That was a good production. It was a family, friends, kids doing it. Soda, outside of being mind blown of seeing someone win Minesweeper before going to school. Okay. Uh, uh, la, 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 before going to school, nativity. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, those are some rocks. Those are definitely some rocks. <laughs> the rocks I don't want to hit! <laughs> ah, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh no! 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 <laughs> I was doing so well. <laughs> Damn it. Speaking of nativity, I don't know how well um, the movie Nativity even holds up. But Pete's. I heard that Mr. Poppy is, like, not held up very well. I've not seen the sequels, I've only seen the first one. Wobbly, wobbly, wibble, wobble. Oh, 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 where am I going? What am I doing? <laughs> that was bad. Okay, down, 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 down. Really down. Drop those presents, drop those presents. Where the hell's it gone? There we go. Yeah, completed. Go skim. Skim it. Ah, thank you. Thank you. I was waiting for my points. I'm trying to remember other school plays I did. I mean, like, I remember there was, like, a talent show kind of thing. I have no... I, I can't remember what I did for that show. I really can't remember. But I remember there was, a bun there was a bunch of, like, kids dancing to Shaggy's Wasn't Me. I remember that. Because <laughs> Wasn't Me was, like, a huge song at the time. And, like, all these kids, who bullied me, by the way, <laughs> were, like, dancing to Shaggy. Like, and they were the cool kids. <laughs> I bet in reality they weren't that cool. <laughs> um, but I feel like, in terms of like school productions, before I got to comp, I remember my biggest thing that I did was I, me and a friend, me and a classmate did um, a puppet production of Midsummer's Night's Dream. Uh, my mum helped out with it. And like she does, she designed, she designed the puppets, and I think she also adapted the script as well. And it was, it was kind of scary. It was part of like a Shakespeare day at my school. Everyone was like eating Shakespearean food, and people were putting on Shakespearean plays. I was the only one that wanted to do like a puppet production, and I was also dressed up as Shakespeare himself. Like I was, I was crazy about Shakespeare as a kid. That, that sounds weird, but I was. I, I loved Shakespeare's stuff. 
And I just remember doing, I can't remember if, even if I like did the whole play, but I remember doing Midsummer's Night's Dream with a bunch of puppets, with a friend, while well, dressed up. Dressed up as Shakespeare. I think I had my mum's mom's tights as like a bald cap. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Uh, wait, wait, wait. So Leo says, I wasn't there, but a mate told me about a school play where a bunch of little kids were singing Rihanna's Rude Boy. I feel like I had to be on the on a list for being in the audience. Um, Leo, glad to know I wasn't the only freak that actually enjoyed Shakespeare as a kid. Well, to be fair, at the same time, I grew up going to Stratford quite a lot, because it's where my, my aunt lived. Every time I visited her, um, you definitely got the feel of Shakespeare there. Plus, my mum was really into Shakespeare, and Greek mythology and all sorts of stuff. Uh, I remember there was, a, when I went to Comprehensive, there was a Shakespeare, there was a Shakespeare week and on one of those days, there was like a bunch of play productions of Shakespeare stories. And one, one class did Romeo and Juliet. Oh, I'll f concentrate, James. Uh, they did Romeo and Juliet. Uh, but instead of like uh, Capulets and whatnot, they, they did Goffs and Chavs. Hang on. Uh, Ludo says, I want to offer promotion of your channel viewers, followers, viewers, chatbots. The price is lower than any competitor. No, thank you. I think this is spam. <laughs> this looks like spam. <laughs> uh, how do I... Uh, Leo, can you take care of that, please? <laughs> I was, was going to take care of it. I've got mods. <laughs> Forgot what I was talking about now. Up, oh, up. Oh, jeez. Oh, Oh yeah, so there was a Shakespeare day. They did Romeo and Juliet, Goss versus Chavs, and I remember there was they did they had like riot scenes. To um, I predict a riot, and uh, this is this was like a weird time as well, where it was like there was like a kind of like a clash between Goss and Chavs, and there's the teachers riling it up <laughs> through Shakespeare. Um, but I was. I was in a production, I think it was called, was, what was the name, it was something night, was it 11th night or something, where it's like the TWINS! Shakespeare, I'm blaming Shakespeare for that, Shakespeare distracted me. <laughs> yeah, I was, I think it was 12th night, Violet night, I can't remember, something night, where it's about twins disguise themselves, uh, and I was... I was both the love interest and the villain in that. I had to switch between the characters. Crying out loud. Who does this? <laughs> uh, Leo says, when you described the play like that, it reminds me of Monkey D Monkey to Escape, where this London school has to do a production of Wherefore, mother effing art thou Romeo? <laughs> it's hard to get into the game when, when I've I've just I've just lost that many points. I get <laughs> I'm just like, how am I gonna get it all back? I want it back. Damn you, Shakespeare. <laughs> I used, to, I used to go to Stratford quite a lot, and one of my favourite things was like the the canal the canal um, boat drivers would actually let me open the canal sometimes. That was really fun. Damn it! And there was also a Rosie and the Rosie and Jim um, museum as well. Right, where's another house? There we go. No, no, Ooh, that was wobbly. Okay, I think I need to. Yes, let's do this. Yeah, I'll speed things up. 
Epic Moonshot as well. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, this one doesn't seem too hard. Yeah, there's barely any obstacles around this one. This is going to be easy. Just don't crash into the actual house. Yeah, that was alright. Uh, so, do not to mention, yes, I didn't particularly see ITI with the teacher. Oh, sorry, I missed, I missed something you said. You said, I've put a long story short, the play was originally a dark comedy, same time cut to a week later, and the script was completely changed and toned down way too weak. Yeah, I really hate when teachers did that to me when I'd, I'd write a script for a play. They'd be like, oh yeah, yeah, we can do this. And then behind my back, they would they would, fit, they would change the script. So I don't mind, I, would, I didn't mind people changing my script. They, I didn't like, oh, crying out loud. I didn't, what I didn't like was them just not talking to me beforehand, saying like, okay, we want to change the script. Here's why. Um, but no. They just did it. To be fair, most of my scripts are probably shit, but like, I just don't think that's fair on a child to be like, yeah, we're gonna give you creative license, and then behind your back, we're gonna destroy that creative license. That's kind of that's kind of messed up. <laughs> this is not too. Oh, rock! I had to put a rock there, didn't you? Nice. Oh, rock! 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 rock. I'm a goofy goober rock. Oh, trees, trees, too many trees, 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 everywhere. How did that happen? How did I go straight into that? I kind of wish there was a bit more music in this game. I was expecting more music. Like that piano, that piano riff is really nice, but like, it would have been nice to have some bit more music music in this game. It's a nice atmosphere. I appreciate it, but like, maybe a little more whimsical music. Oh, smooth. <laughs> I've only got um, seven or eight Scooby Doo films to watch, by the way. Not many left now. Oh, jeez. If I'm honest, most Scooby Doo movies are kind of the same as each other, I'm very middle of the road, and they follow a formula. So when you come across a Scooby-Doo film that's like, kind of batshit insane, you're like, okay, I'm appreciating this, it's a little different now. But most of them that do, you do it is kind of like watching, F you rock. <laughs> it is kind of like watching the same movie, but with different skins. <laughs> oh my god, I almost, almost hit that rock. Um, so it just says, just wait, wait. Yeah. So it says, um, just to kick me while I'm down, it was a group effort with everyone who had the experience in drama and then blend out back, it was given treatment by an experienced drama class. Crying out loud, that's annoying. Where am I? <laughs> Yeah, we had to, at, at college, we had to collab with um, the drama, the drama class, quite a lot. Um, mainly because I was the only actor in the class, and they couldn't, they couldn't just keep casting me every time. <laughs> so, like, they would just, they would have to, like, cast drama students and collab with other drama students. Um, some drama students I got along with, and I actually still am friends with some of the drama students at my from my college. 
But, like, the drama teacher was absolutely insane. I swear. I swear. Um, I remember one time... He came into one of our classes... Slammed down a newspaper and said, like... I started asking the students, What do you feel when, when reading these newspapers? And, like... We're not, we're not a feely kind of class. We're a, we're a very technical kind of class. So it was really weird he was asking us. And, like, people like people are giving a very technical kind of answer to, like, reading the newspapers. Because it was, like, it was a media studies class. Oh, crying out loud. Um, and he gets really pissy and he's like, You know what? My drama students would feel way more than this. My drama students would say all these kinds of things. It's like, good for you, mate. Go and teach your class, you weirdo. He was really stupid and annoying. Um, and the other thing was that he was an extra in a movie directed by Danny Boyle, the guy that did uh, Shallow Grave and Slumdog Millionaire. He was an extra. And he wouldn't shut up about it. And he wouldn't shut up about Danny Boyle either. He was always bringing up, oh yeah, I was... I was an extra million. Good for you, mate. Now you're, te now you're teaching um, snot-nosed college students. <laughs> uh, so just says, yeah, I was not impressed with it, and I was really, really not happy with the character I was given. It was a creepy butler, but they wouldn't even let me mold the character. That's really unfair. That's not right. I hate it when teachers like just teach students like like props. They don't never talk up never think about their feelings. It's really not fair. Then again, I remember when I did my, my GCSEs for drama, um I really couldn't get into my character. So I uh, my mum actually <laughs> My mum wrote me a part and it got written into the play. Um my 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 drama teacher was fine with that because I was like because my drama teacher liked my acting, she was always like, let me kind of like have creative license quite a lot. And my drama, uh, my mum wrote me apart for like an old man. I had to pretend to be an old man for the play. Um, Leo says, oh god, the most prominent memory I had with drama students is that their stage was right next to our art department in college. So we heard them badly singing Good Morning Baltimore. Oh no, don't butcher, don't butcher that. Not a Mark Shaman song. Every day for seemingly the entire sodding thing. Not their fault, but God, we were sick of them. You know what I found annoying about drama students at my college? Was that they were divas, but they're also always practicing all the time. And there'll be like some kind of like fight in the cafeteria. And we would just sit around going like, okay, is this really a fight? Or are they, are they putting on a gimmicky show? What's going on? Are, are we being tr are we are we part of are we part of a performance art or because it's lunchtime right right now we don't want to be, or um, are you genuinely upset with each other right now? That was really annoying. I remember one time. Okay, now this this situation annoyed me. This made me like trust the drama students even even less. But like one time, a drama student uh, was like hanging outside alone. And he was, like, saying to me, like, Oh, I feel real lonely, blah, 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 blah. And I, like, reassure him and stuff. And then... And then after he does that, I find out that, that was, like, an acting test for him. How fucking is that? <laughs> Literally got a kid to go and, like, emotionally manipulate another student to see how good they are at acting. <laughs> it was so stupid. I love, I love a lot of my friends that I met through that course and like I even helped I even helped one of them uh, like meet their wife <laughs> but still that course was weird yeah my college it was a rough one college so come on it was it was gonna be it was gonna be kind of weird and dark <laughs> it was the same college that Sean Bean went to as well The, uh, the acting students weren't too bad for, like, university, though, as far as I remember. I think everyone just kind of kept to themselves. Oh, I remember being in, like, a weird performance art with a bunch of college students. That 
that was kind of cool, but also kind of weird, because they, they were really up close to us. Like, uncomfortably up close to us. <laughs> uh, so, the, the idea for the character was going to be this Frankenstein monster type with a bit of a creepy rat breathing in my interview scene. That's like, interviewing a Frankenstein monster would be sick. Um, Leo, on the second floor, there was a bridge that went over the stage, so one time my friend just leaned over and shouting, Macbeth, and we ran, like, after the fire line went, because the curtain caught fire, I swear they go, what? What? Brilliant. <laughs> And do. To be honest, the course that I dis actually disliked, and I didn't even get to know any of the students, our university, I resented the photography students. Um, because the animation course I was on was already, like, barely respected and, like, considered the Mickey Mouse course. And, like, every time we had an exhibition for productions, the photography students got, like, most of the exhibition. Like, a huge chunk of it. And, like, we were squashed into a room. It was really unfair. Like, the photography students took over, and we really... It was one of the, one of the ways we could actually, like, bond together was our mutual annoyance at the photography students. Even the other, like, film production um, courses got together the animation courses which just grumbled about the, the photography students. And it was really uncomfortable as well because sometimes, sometimes the exhibitions, they would invite the, uh, the models for the photographs and their agents were really creepy and they were like, okay, you're allowed to eat but only like a tiny piece of chocolate and it was like, oh, this is creepy. I, I, just, I, just, I, just, I just want to show my animation to people. Uh... Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, it was like a little I remember there was like a little exhibition. And we could we could show our sets and it was like a screening room. And photography just took over like half the building. Um so Soda says I was told it was too creepy, but they had no problems with the letter about the maid saying my character's watching in her sleep. For crying out, what? Why? Just let kids enjoy horror. Just because, just because you as an adult find hor like horror uncomfortable, or you don't like the idea of kids liking horror, that's that's not your deal. That's not your deal. It's fine for kids to like horror and like enjoy creating horror. That's dickish. That's really dickish. Like I can understand some of the things. I can understand some of the reasons why some of my like strips were like rejected. Because, like, I, I really push the envelope sometimes. <laughs> I I was, like, I was really trying to prove how mature I was. And it's mature. It's, like, making these really screwed up kind of scripts. Um, so I get mine. But, like, yours, it just sounded like a wholesome kind of, like, Frankenstein story. And they can't they can't handle Frankenstein's monster being in their freaking play. Come on, buck up. Kids love Frankenstein. I love Frankenstein as a kid. One of my favorite memories at school was watching um, Epic Moonshot, nice. Uh, was watching Kenneth Browner's uh, version of Frankenstein. I loved that. I loved that version of Frankenstein. That really stuck with me, oh, for Pete's sake. I think, to be honest, Kenneth Browner's Frankenstein is the, the version I, that comes to my mind straight away. I know everyone thinks of Karloff on that, but like, the Browner version, I, was, I loved it. Yeah, it's really annoying how a lot of teachers just like see the kid, see the kids that like horror is like a problem kid or or like they need help. It's like no, nurture that, let them enjoy horror. One day they could be the next Mary Shelley. Come on. Uh, so it says the biggest part of Trims for me is that the story was the chase at the end where the villain was being chased down by the policeman while we all stood on the stage. And we all stood there like spare pricks at the wedding. <laughs> right out loud. Okay, 
if I'm ever like teaching a friend, uh, 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 like a like a friend's kid about filmmaking, I always give them creative license. I'll teach them sound, I'll teach them storytelling. I'll teach them whatever. And I'll if I, I'll give them feedback, but at the end of the day, it's their choice what they want to make. I'm not going to creatively stifle them. Uh, so, and we had to show this in front of our parents and fellow students. You need to be proud of something you've made at school. Oh, teachers need to sod off with this kind of thing. Just stay out of it. And you should only step in if you feel like it's inappropriate for children to do it. And playing Frankenstein's monster is not. <laughs> Let children make mistakes. Let children experiment. And down, down. I'm kind of getting used to the controls. A bit more, to be honest. Um, Leo says, makes me glad I would bunk off or in the background hidden behind other kids whenever there was a school play. Even now, both both being in and attending one of... is my idea of hell. Yeah, I... <laughs> Press continue and I die. Um, I was talking to Leo about this other night, but like I've always resented how schools force kids to learn drama. Because for a lot of kids, that's, that's anxiety-inducing. It's not confidence-building, it's anxiety-inducing. Like drama is for is for drama kids, <laughs> kids that actually want to learn to act and or learn to perform. You're not gonna you're not gonna build confidence for kids getting them to play characters. It's it's a lot. Acting is a lot. It takes a lot of it takes a lot of emotion and personal connection to a character. You can't just throw them into a play and expect them to develop confidence. For crying out loud, who does this? Who flies into a house like that? Um, so, am I bored, Dad, who had to hear me bitterly complain about this thing for weeks on end? Even he said it was the biggest load of crap I've ever seen. Leo, yeah, they never helped my confidence. They made me want to hide into a small space and never come out. Which now I do all the time as an adult, so fuck all good that did. Yeah, honestly, drop drama from school school curriculums. I really believe that. I stand by that. Despite loving drama as a kid, despite being an actor, an actor since the age of seven, I will stand by that. It's like, yeah, I appreciated it, but I always, in class, felt sorry for the kids, kids in my class who were, like, clearly deeply, deeply uncomfortable being forced to go on a stage or play a character. I'd say that, like, just, just dra drama at school should be, like, an optional thing, like an after-school thing. I really do. Which is possible. I went, that's how I, that's how I, like, vented my acting, is I would go to, like, after-school clubs, or I'd, or I'd audition for plays and stuff. Just let kids, let it be an option for kids, not, not, like, something you have to do to learn confidence. There are, there are different, way, there are other kinds of topics or... Structures that would be better for like teaching kids confidence, honestly. Like, even if e oh, up, 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 up. <laughs> even even just like um, presentations. Honestly, that that's the best. I honestly think that's the best way to teach kids um, confidence, without them doing something they don't want to do. Because presentations are part of like actual careers that most kids will end up going into. Just stick to presentations. Um, Leo, I mean... Oh, wait, yeah. Uh, Leo, I mean, how many kids cry on stage because they're forced to do these things? Then that's always recorded by the parents who think it's so cute and funny to bring it up all the time. No matter what the, the now adult kid says, that's why. Yes. Leo, I never had any problem with drama myself. I took it... Like, I took it to water, especially in my drama exam, which I remember correctly. Uh, I got a good, a, a great hire. Yeah, again, if you like, I'm not saying, I'm not saying that like, it's bad for kids to like drama or anything. Like, because like, again, I was, a, I was an acting nut. 
I just feel I just feel empathy and sympathy for like kids that just don't want to do it. I always felt bad watching my drama teacher yell at a student that was clearly not an actor, had no interest in being an actor, and the teacher was expecting them to like pull off like a black a Brando level performance. I you know what I think is a really good resolution. If you are going to have drama, have some kids learn like the behind the scenes stuff and have some kids learn the acting stuff. Give them the option. Give them the option. I honestly think that's fine because like the great thing about theatre is that there's there's a job for everyone. Like the the art kids can like design can design the the sets, the fashion kids can design the costumes. Uh, the kids that are interested in filmmaking can direct. There's something for everyone. Like, you can even have, like, the music kids are, like, performing the music. Stop making kids that have zero interest in acting act. Uh, Leo, exactly. I'm an artist. I like sitting and drawing. Getting me on the stage in front of parents is the last place I need to be. Yeah, you could have just designed sets, and I bet you would have loved that. Or designed props. Just being left alone to design things. I have so many gripes of school in general, but that's probably one of my biggest. Whoa, 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 whoa! Avoid the rock. Oh, no. That's not elegant. Can you stop flattering me with this crash of elegance nonsense? Doom, doom. I think I hated most most topics at school if I'm honest. I was only good at like maybe like three or four things. I only enjoyed like three or four things. I always think I think it should be I think when kids get to a certain age, let them decide the things they want to learn. Stop enforcing things that like they're very, very unlikely to carry into their adulthood. Like the the only the only top the only subjects I enjoyed at school were media, drama, and English, because I was a filmmaker and an actor. So like, of course, those were the ones I got into and got the highest grades on. But everything else was like, oh, I don't care. Oh, I also I did real like um, religious studies because that was all about uh, that was about philosophy, and I was I was mad into philosophy growing up, and I took a philosophy stu uh, module at uh, university as well. Film philosophy. It was a film philosophy module. So, like, I love for religious studies. And what I also really liked about religious studies was that, um... Well, I had two, I, I had two teachers. And the first teacher really, like, opened my eyes to, like, different things and made me change my opinion on a lot of, kind of, uh, opinions and politics and stuff. She was, she was just really good at explaining certain things or pointing out things that, like, other teachers weren't. They were too nervous, too scared to like cover those topics, but like she braved them to kids and make you like, oh wow, I didn't think of it about like that. I've, I've had, I've had other opinions like planted into my head, and she'd be like making us think deeper about these things. But the other religious studies teacher that I really liked, he was proper chill, proper chill old man. Um, and like what I liked about him is that, um, unlike other, tu unlike other tutors. He would let me do stand-up comedy at the end, at the end of class every time, and the kids loved that. The kids loved that. Um, so and like m most of the stand-up was like me roasting the class, <laughs> but like the, the, it was like a fun thing to do at the end of every every religious studies qu uh, lesson. I would stand up in front of the class, uh, roast the class, and it, it, it encouraged me, even though it was irrelevant to the religious studies. It encouraged me as a comedian and as an entertainer, and it like gave me a lot of confidence. I feel like something you should really do as a teacher is just like, even if your topic has nothing to do with what one of the students likes, maybe you see some talent in one of the students. It's like, oh, we've got like five, ten minutes left of lesson. We've kind of done everything. Kids, show what what you got if they want if they want to. <laughs> and like, I I've always appreciated that my religious studies teacher gave me that opportunity. Like, no, not even my drama teacher was letting me do stand-up in front of class. <laughs> uh, where am I in chat now? Uh, Leo, I would have loved to have done stuff like prepping the stage. I excelled. I used 
to make paper mache stuff as a kid. So if I was ever allowed, I could have done great stuff there. Exactly, exactly. Uh, so I only struggled with uh, learning lines, especially in that first year of acting for that exam in which I didn't learn anything over the course of Christmas holidays. See, I was fine with learning lines, but that's because I'd started acting at a very young age and I was doing plays outside of school. So like any, any time they were like making us to learn lines, it was it came very naturally. So I, I was very lucky there. <laughs> Uh, we go? Oh dear, I've almost forgot about the stream. I'm so tired. Good evening, Chambreaky. What are you playing at? <laughs> Jimmy, what are you playing? Because <laughs> when you word it like that, it's like, Hey, JK, what are you playing at? Has that got beef? <laughs> so it uh, So when I came back to college, which had drama, was like, oh, oh yeah, then, jeez, I, I was ma made everyone mad. Oh dear, oh, I didn't need read this. And the teacher was like, you what? <laughs> yeah, what are you playing? I'm playing uh, Silent Night. It's like a Santa delivery game. I think you should stick to what you're playing at. Can you can you come in? Can you can that be your greeting for every stream from now on, computer guy? <laughs> hey Jambariki, what are you playing at? <laughs> you call this a Twitch stream? <laughs> Forgot what I was talking about before now. <laughs> Oh yeah, so I had um, I definitely had like teachers that encouraged me. Oh, for Pete's sake! I was not looking. I was not even looking. Uh, I definitely had teachers encouraged me. Like I had an English teacher, and it was the only English teacher that ever saw that like saw that I was like interested in writing stories and, and scripts and stuff, and really encouraged me. Really damn encouraged me. And he even let me write film reviews as well for, like, um, submissions. And he was always, like, teaching me the stuff that, like, I felt like I never really learnt because all the other English teachers just bored me to death. But this guy was really, really cool. Um, so, like, yeah, he, he, he really became, like, a personal mentor to me. But unfortunately, when I got to my GCSEs, he just left. He just left. And, like, after he left, the, the school didn't know what to friggin' do. They couldn't find a replacement too soon, so like we just like they just threw us into a room with a sub, and the sub would play a movie, and like I suddenly hated English, and I think I would have gotten better results if that teacher had stayed. Like nothing against him, it's just I didn't like how sudden it was. I didn't even get to say goodbye to him or thank him that like he he was one of the English, English teachers that pushed me as a writer. Uh, but my media studies teacher was really sound as well. He was he was very encouraging, and he would sometimes let me um, play my films after class. Why is there another house? <laughs> I'm going in circles. Who was another teacher that encouraged me? Uh, I think that's it, really. Most teachers I really didn't get along with. So I just I usually it was because I just didn't care what they were teaching. And they never they never made me feel enthusiastic about what they were teaching. Like I like the creative I like the creative topics and subjects. I wasn't interested in like maths and science and that kind of stuff. It's too serious for me. I wanted to have fun. But at the same time, a part of me kind of wishes that I'd I had actually enjoyed those lessons. I was actually good at those things. But I just couldn't pay attention. I just wasn't interested in... I wasn't interested in facts. I wanted to create fiction. <laughs> I, did, I didn't care about memorizing data. I was like, come on, just let me make something. <laughs> Is that a shooting star? It looks like a shooting star from over here. I don't know what it is. Oh, whoa, 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 what was that? <laughs> Does I just have a stroke? Does Santa just have a stroke? Oh, no, no. Move, move. Wow, this is wobbling. No! I'm so done. I had a few good teachers in the past. 
uh, that drama teacher in the first year was fantastic, so it would be hard to blow on all of us when she announced she was leaving. Oh, bless. I don't think I ever remember, like, missing any teachers. To that point. Except for maybe my English teacher when he left. Leah, oh shit, new trauma memory uncovered. In the first or second year of comprehensive school, they had a singing contest. I hope this would... Uh, whoa, 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 let me catch up. Uh, in the first or second year of comprehensive school, they had a singing contest. I hope this would be finally a chance to have a shining moment to make up for the bullying I had faced beforehand. Oh, how naive I was. They had the wrong song, and even when I told them this, this they didn't change it. I had to wing it and s on a song I didn't practice. That's awful. Got twos and threes across the board. It was so upsetting and humiliating. Once it was done, I just didn't stick around backstage. I just wandered the empty halls and until I found an empty room to cry. Bless you. Bless you. I have no good experiences with stages. Bless you. Again, stop making kids go on stage. Yeah, imagine if you were given a chance to, like, just show your art instead. So the whole school system used to change. It really does. I don't even know what I'm going to do when I become a dad. I don't I don't know what I'm going to do because I don't want to I don't want my kid to be homeschooled because then he's going to lose out on social interaction and all sorts of things. But at the same time, I just don't trust the British school system to raise my kid. So I I'm always been conflicted about where they should go. Maybe I should like move to a country that has like a good education system. I feel that's going to be my best bet. Whoa, 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 this is wobbly. Whoop. Whoop. At least I've gotten used to the snake mechanics in this game now. Whoop. Uh, can we go on, like, Finland or Sweden? That would be the dream. I, whichever has... Because I'm not interested in, like, oh, which school's gonna, like, make my kid look look good or help the school look good. What's going to be good for my kids? That's what I'll be concerned about. A school that's going to like encourage encourage my kid to like be who they want to be and not punish or restrict them for their creative freedom. <laughs> or push them push them to do something they don't want to do. Yeah, definitely not homeschool. Maybe I should just set up my own school just for my kid, and then, like, any, any kids that are the kids of, like, actors I'm working with for films. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. Ooh. There we go. Oh, look at my numbers. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a decent job for now. At least get to... At least get to 5,000. At least end the stream where I'm... A, I've got... I've finally... Got to 5,000. I should be okay. Just don't crash. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. This is scary. Now that I'm, like, pressuring myself to, like... I'm gonna be okay. I'm gonna be okay. Oh, okay. That wasn't okay. Oh, most of 5,000. Oh, very close. 5,000. 5,000. Nice. I'll keep going. I think this will be my- this will be my last- This is gonna be my last sleigh ride. And then I'm gonna head off. I guess I had to keep playing until I got my last sleigh ride. <laughs> to get good. Um. Da -da 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 -da. Come on, guys. Seriously, these countries' education systems have a very good reputation in all the best ways. Nice. Uh, Leah, the best teacher I had was my secondary school uh, English teacher. She was like a second mum to me. Aww. Gave me the cupboard between two English rooms so I could safely spend my break times. I got tracked down and harassed everywhere else. 
It's awful. She encouraged my love of analysis and storytelling and deeply empathized with what I went through. That is a great sounding teacher. I like that teacher. Well done to that teacher. Because if I'm completely honest, um, my homeroom teacher was like... She was abusive. She was, she was, she was shit. She, I hated her. I literally hated her. And if I ever saw her again, I would just, I would honestly just like rant at her for being such an awful teacher. Um, cause like she, she would often kind of like go through each student and if, if you were behind on homework or something, she would literally yell and scream at you until you cry, mocked you for crying told you to stop crying that kind of jazz and sometimes if if a kid like did some just did a kid thing like played with their pencil or something she would put the whole class into tension she was shit she was a shit teacher and what was funny was that like she wore like Oh, there we go. That's the end of the game. <laughs> she wore like a cake full of foundation, and apparently one time a girl accidentally scratched her face while while in PE, and her whole hand was just covered in foundation. <laughs> I'm sorry, but foundation's not going to cover up how, how how shit of a person you are. <laughs> yeah, she was she was absolutely awful. Hated her so much. Oh, I just remember another teacher I loved a bit. Oh, I really loved him. Not just because, not just because, um, yeah, so, like, it was my classical studies teacher. He was very, very strict. Like, cr scarily strict, but, like, in a way where you kind of respected him. And, like, the way he read Greek mythology, I was just like, it's what got me to love Greek mythology. It was, even though my mum was already into Greek mythology and would, like, sh share, share stories with me, um, I'd say it was my classical classical studies teacher that got me into it more and like the story stuck with me more because of the way that he read them it was almost like listening to an audiobook i love classical studies he was great he was great um uh leo best thing though she uh, she went to a library sale somewhere and bought me the book drawing comics the marvel way just for me it was a big help and still one of the kindest people i ever know oh bless here we go. I had a German replacement teacher that was like that, and even if I never had a problem with him because I used to be very studious, I still despised him for always yelling at us in third grade, which would be fourth year in English, if I recall your class's names correctly. Like, ridiculous. I also remember the teacher that I remember being like the most strict, and like you didn't want her. You really, and it's like she was so strict that like she made my homeroom teacher I just described seem tame. And, like, she would basically tell the whole class to, like, sit in a specific way, not touch anything, not say anything, and pay attention. Like, you just couldn't be a kid in a class. Uh, yeah, she was she was also awful. And she, what was, what was really bad, but also kind of funny, <laughs> was that that teacher ended up being my brother's homeroom teacher. <laughs> like, the teacher you didn't want to be your teacher was his main teacher. <laughs> Bless him. <laughs> Right, okay, let's um let's wrap things up. I know that like I'll let I'll let, have a little chat and then we'll then I'll head off. I think after the stream I'm going to do a bit more tidying, um, watch some Scooby films and then fall asleep. That'll be my plan. That's my plan. It's been a nice day, actually. It's been a really nice day, and this has been a nice way to end it as well. It's been a very relaxing day. A couple of that coffee lasted me for, like, a two-hour stream. <laughs> then again, I wasn't drinking much of it because I was so focused on driving the sleigh. Um, so, next week for Relax Club, I'm going to be doing a Christmas jigsaw. Uh, the jigsaw itself will be decided by um, YouTube community. Um, so I have no idea. I have no idea. But I know that people like my jigsaw streams. And they're kind of fun to do because, like, there's not really anything serious to do. I'm just kind of, like, moving puzzle pieces at my own pace. So I like doing I like doing jigsaw streams. And they fit Relax Club really well. So that'll be next week. Um, and the poll for next week's 
Twitch quiz is uh, going to be up for another two hours, so feel free to go and vote on that. Um, and then after that, the viewers' choice poll will be going up. The viewers' choice poll options will include Let's Watch Christmas Movie Trailers, Live Q&A, Elf, Elf Movie Watch Along, Let's Watch Christmas Commercials, Jimmy Neutron Holly Jolly Jimmy Episode Review, Sonic Christmas Blast Live Review, Top 5 Christmas Songs, or and um, Christmas Carol's Karaoke. I hope nobody ch picks karaoke. <laughs> You're not going to enjoy listening to me sing. <laughs> if I'm completely honest. Yeah, I'm going to try and get as many... I'm going to try and do as many... Christmas streams as I can. Already voted. Excellent. Excellent. At the moment, it's a four-way tie. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to have to do a tie break of uh, four, four options. But we'll see. We'll see how things go. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the stream. Hope you had fun. Hope it cheered you up or relaxed you or whatever, whatever you came for relaxed you before. Um, hope you're smiling. Hope you're happy. Hope you have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, whatever time is for you. And cheers.